Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'm going to be unboxing Talon. This is the second edition from GMT Games. Um, I I played the uh, the first edition of this, and it left me a little. Yeah. I like Jim Crone. Uh, he does the Band of Brothers series, which is excellent. Um, he did Space Empires, of which this is in the same uh, IP, if you will. So, and a lot of people will play Space Empires and then use this to fight out the battles, so and so forth. So, you know, that's kind of cool. But uh, playing, the main thing I had with this is, um, I guess the uh, dry race uh, ships didn't work as well in the first one, so that was a little frustrating. And then the, um, I didn't much care for playing it solo. So, this one now has an expansion that adds solo purely so you can fight against an AI so looking forward to that too but for now let's just see what's in the second printing of Talon Fleet Combat and Defense of the Earth okay so we are going to get first off a couple of dice kind of vintage dice because they're just the plain old white ones I think you'd get a clue from Monopoly. But you know what? They work. Hey, and I got a seven. What are the odds? Then GMT's standard bag o bags. And the Talon standard dry erase markers, which I do believe uh, you get two of these. They're not a very fine point, but uh, you'll probably use these up pretty quick and replace them. So, anyway. And as usual, right on top, ready to greet you. The rules of play. It's very thin. These are the second edition rules. So it's 16 pages. And uh, it's 10 pages to get to the advanced rules. So then 16 pages with the, after the advanced rules. And then there's some designer notes, I believe. Got a little section of designer notes. Black holes, additional features you can add. Full color again, obviously, you know, standard and GMT does they print great manuals. I don't know who their printer is, but they do really good with printing manuals. So that's what you got there. 16 pages, 10 pages of rules, advanced rules, so on and so forth. Then you get your playbook, which has different scenarios. Um, this is a little bit bigger. This is 40 pages. It has a research chart for upgrading your ships. And it has I said full color. This one's also full color, excuse me. And it has the various scenarios. It actually seems to have them linked in some sort of campaign. I uh, got some lore about the different fleets and races and their ships. And then sample play. So it's got uh, 12 scenarios. It's got how to design your own scenario. In fact, what I mentioned before, they even include a section on playing Space Empires 4X with Talon. So there you go. And you can actually design your own ships. All right. So let's keep digging in here. Got some pads. Uh, some sheets, anyway. Uh, I'm sure you're going to need to photocopy these, or you can probably download them uh, for print. So tracking your turns, your power curves, things like that. Which may be nice because then you don't have to mark as much on the ships. In fact, it looks like it's an alternative option, which is a very nice inclusion because now you can mark damage to the sides, to the hull, to the weapons, so and so forth. So they give you a handful of those, and obviously you're going to want to you're going to make more of those. It's a little thin pad, actually. It's got a cardboard back to it. And then we've got combat tables. We've got the Terrans and the Talons. Here's your combat table resolution. And then you've got a, a war mat for Talon. Um, I keep saying it. it's hard to know when it means Talon the race and Talon the game. So this is the Talon Empire war mat and the Talon impulse track. Okay. So you move from here, the Antari sector, into the Badlands sector, into the Maelstrom sector, into the Orion sector. And then sequence of play, round tracker, initiatives, 
So one thing that I do recall that was really cool about this, I should say, is it's like you see these numbers here, if I'm recalling it correctly. Um, the initiatives are going to happen when your number shows up. So a four, five, or six is going to five or six is going to act in you know every impulse that has a five or six in it. Six will act in everything. So they get you know it kind of simulates the maneuverability of the ships, being able to do more. They're faster, whatever. And so like your ones are going to only act once per. These are segments of a turn, and then so the two will act you know, three apart, the three will act two apart, so on and so forth, so that's really cool. I like that. So, there's that. Let me get some little markers. One sheet of tiny markers. Some missiles on there. And we got our ships. There's actually not too many. There's three sheets of ships. I was going in, it's the, apparently the, uh, Game board. I was kidding. Uh, so anyway, we've got Talon ships, Talon ships, and Terran ships. So the Talon ships are obviously the blue. I mean, the Terran ships are the blue, and the Talon ships are the red. So you have three ships of the, three sheets of those, and these are um, uh, easy to punch. And the backs of them serve as other uh, terrain markers. So, like here's asteroids. Um, you can flip them over and see. So, we got nebulas here, galaxies, planets. So, ships that you're not using will serve other purposes as well. So, that's pretty cool. So, you got three sheets of those, and they're obviously coated, so you can dry erase on them. I don't know if you're always going to be dry erasing on these. Drying erasing dry erasing on these, or if you can just use the those worksheets we saw, or if it's a combination of both. So we'll find that out. So then we've got our map in here. Two maps. Oh, this is a nice. So they give us a full map and a half map. So you don't have to block off sections of a full map. You can take less space and just have a quick battle if you want. So that's actually pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to trying this again. Um, So the map is pretty much just a, this is just a two by two map and it's just going to be space hexes and you'll use those overlays to kind of give it more. But it's nice that they gave you, you know, a half one and a full one for some larger battles and maybe you can even connect them together and have really big battles. Who knows? But this is a four panel map and this is actually a thinner, seems like a slightly thinner no, it's probably not. It looks like it. it. Looks like the panels are slightly thinner, but they're not, because you're seeing. Anyway, never mind. It's not relevant. Uh, this is an eight-panel, larger map, so it's twice the size of this one. So that is Talon's second edition. Uh, if you check the channel, we're going to have a unboxing of the Talon 1000 expansion, which does add the full solo. So if you pick up the second edition of Talon, you're going to get a large map. A half map, three sheets of ships. They punch very easily. One sheet of markers, two reference cards, very thick cardstock, gloss coated, uh, sheet of combat tables with information on critical damage. A small pad of ship tracking sheets, a playbook, a rules of playbook, two dry erase markers, two dice, baggy o bags, and a box. That's what comes in Talon, second edition, second printing, I should say, from GMT Games, designed by Jim Crone. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!